Today we're going to show you how to install the MotoTrack Scout XC kit. Later we will show you how to install the ski in the video with the link right here. So first thing we're going to do is install the swing arm and frame spacers. You'll see one of the spacers has a groove through it. You line this up on your chain side. What you do is visually align the spacer and that groove and line it up in the middle of the hole and set that set screw. Get it tight. Then what you're going to do is take the other side, slide it through, give it about the same distance as you did on the other side, put in the set screw, and get it loosely tight. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be installing the shock strut. What you do is you take this upper end with the spacer in it, put that back into where your upper shock mounts, and then use your existing shock bolt from the bike and push it through till that gets locked on and leave it sitting there. So now we'll actually be installing the track system. First, what you want to do is get it lined up and it's a lot easier to have two people, so that's how we recommend installing it. So first, what we're gonna do, take it, grab it, pull it in. All right, so what we're doing here is this bolt, this set screw that we left loose over here on the other side. We're making sure it's spaced properly. Get it fully tightened. Once these are fully tightened and put in, you don't have to remove them at all as long as you have the track system on, this, on the same bike. Go ahead and install it. Grab your axle, slide it through. Always easier with a little bit of force. get that installed, make sure you torque everything down and use your factory torque settings on the swing arm, uh, on the axle mount, as well as the upper shock bolt. So next we'll actually be installing the shock into the kit. First you want to remove the upper eye, it makes it a lot easier to install the shock if you install the upper portion first. A side note, you want to torque all of these bolts on the shock to 37 foot-pounds a piece. So this is where it's also helpful to have two people. That way it gets the, uh, all the bolts easier to get in and out. Once you put in the upper bolt, makes it a lot easier to align these lower bolts. Once the shock is installed, after your very first time of putting the kit together, the shock doesn't have to be removed every time you take it off. Now you can see, your kit's almost ready to tear up the mountain. 
So next we'll be installing your brake pads and caliper. So what you're going to want to do is take out your gold bolts here, take out your brake pads. You're going to want to get this partially lined up, get these going through, get through the caliper mount. Grab one of your brake pads, make sure they're facing the right direction of course. Get it partially pushed through, get the other side pushed through. Grab your other brake pad, get it lined up on the other side there. Again, make sure it's facing the right direction. Get it pushed through on both sides, making sure your rotor is in between. Get them in, start to get those threaded. Okay, then going to want to make sure get those nice and tight just go ahead snug them up we don't want to strip those out all right once that's installed we can go ahead and install our brake line. So grab one of your banjo bolts and your line. One of your lines will be marked with blue tape that'll say caliper end. So put that end into your caliper. Get a copper washer on each side there of the line. Get that threaded in to your caliper. All right, now this kit, it comes with the short line to hook to your foot reservoir, but we also sell the optional long lines for the guys who want to run them up to their handbrake. So obviously you take the one off your bike here, get that unthreaded, take off those washers, go ahead take it figure out how you want it to be installed. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is routed over top so it's not going to get hit by the chain of the track and make sure it stays clear of the exhaust so it doesn't melt it. Okay, so once you get that partially threaded, you can then take it, go ahead, and put your reservoir back on. Then once you do that, you're obviously going to want to bleed your brakes and get them ready to go. Make sure you have no air bubbles left in your line. As you can see here, I have plenty of clearance between the exhaust. If you do have issues though, you can zip tie it to the frame just to make sure there's no melting going on. So next we'll be installing the master chain from your bike to the hub on the Mototrack Stout XC. First you're going to want to take off this rear panel, take all these bolts out. Once those are out, go ahead, remove this panel. Gives you direct access to this inner sprocket here. So of course, you need your chain, and then the master link will be in the bag with that. Make sure your bike is in neutral so you can actually spin that sprocket. There we go. Get it threaded through. And it's all personal preference on where you like to put on the master link. I personally like to do it up top here, but I always route it through 
the whole thing, make sure there's no obstacles and that you have plenty of clearance. So what you can do is grab that, make sure it's not hooked up. All right, so once you get it, go ahead, bring it around. All right, there you go. Got that on. Make sure to put your master link in. Make sure your clip goes in the proper direction. Get them clipped on. And of course, the chain is going to be loose. Sometimes you may have to take a few links out. We always give them just a little bit longer just to be on the safe side. And then you'll have to tighten your chain, which we'll have in another video. But that's how that's it. That's how you put your master chain on. Alright, so now that you have successfully installed your track system, one step closer to going up the tear and up the mount. So if you want to go check out our website, www.moto-tracks.com, it's M-O-T-O-T-R-A-X.com.